Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, April 17th, 2020. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're while you're at it today, give God praise because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Second Timothy, chapter number one, and it's verses five and six. The scripture says, "When I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first." in thy grandmother Lois, and in thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded it that in thee also. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance, that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee, by the putting on of my hands. Friends, Paul is, is sec- he sent the second letter to Timothy to encourage him, give him more instruction, as, as Timothy was ministering the gospel. And he's, he's calling into his remembrance of certain things here. Verse number 5, he says, When I call to remembrance the unfeigned or unshakable or strong faith that is in thee. We all have a strong faith. <clears throat> Excuse me. We all have a strong faith. It's just sometimes we're afraid to use that faith. Sometimes we're afraid to trust that faith. And that's what we have to be doing is we have to trust in that faith that we have in God. We have to fully trust in him. Yesterday we looked at, at the book of First Timothy in chapter 4 and Paul tell, told Timothy to give himself wholly to his doctrine, to the things of God. And that's what we need to do to develop that strong faith that we have to have. And that strong faith was built into Timothy because it came from his grandmother and it came from his mother. He came from a legacy of people that believed in God, that believed in Jesus. And Paul is sure that that same faith that his grandmother had, that his mother had, was in him also. And then he says, <coughs> excuse me, then he says in verse 6, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Stir it up. Stir it up creates action. That says that our faith must always be put into action. That's how it gets stronger. That's how our trust builds in God. We can't build our faith by sitting on our backsides. we got to build our faith by going out and doing the things that God has, by stirring up the gift that we have to go out and use that gift. So as I encouraged you yesterday, I encourage you today as well, don't neglect the gift that God has given you. Don't neglect doing the things that God has called you to do. If you know what your gift is, then you have to use it. Stir it up, get it going, and use that gift. If you don't know what gift God gave you, then pray and ask God and he will tell you, and then use that gift. This isn't the time that we need to be resting on our gifts. We need to be using them, and we need to be showing God to a lost and a hurting world. Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. And then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. 